Hi there, Amazon recently announced the brand new Kindle Scribe, but one thing that isn't being talked about is the other small little announcement that they snuck in there as well, the new update for saving PDFs and EPUBs to any Kindle that is not just the Scribe. Now before I talk about this new and improved way of sending PDFs and EPUBs to your Kindle, I want to talk about the old fashioned way of plugging in your Kindle to a computer through a USB cable and why you should avoid doing this at all costs. Plugging in your Kindle to your computer and then dragging and dropping files onto it like it's a USB stick or something like that does seem like the logical way of transferring stuff onto your Kindle, but to be honest, it is the least efficient way of actually doing it. Not only is it super annoying to dig up a USB cable, plug in your device to your computer, and then drag and drop the files, it's just time consuming as well, but the other part of it is the formatting is not as good. When you manually transfer a file, you are stuck with the native formatting of your PDF. And what that means is you're gonna have weird issues like the text might be too small, you might have to zoom in here and there, the page breaks may not be the way you would like them to be on your Kindle. You're gonna have a lot of weird formatting issues. On top of that, even though this year Amazon officially released support for EPUBs on your Kindle, they don't actually natively work on your Kindle. What I mean by that is you can't plug in your Kindle and then drag and drop a bunch of EPUBs onto it. They will not load and they will not work. Now, in order to get EPUBs to work and PDFs to be formatted correctly, you have to follow one of the methods that I'll be showing you in this video in just one second. But a quick disclaimer, I don't wanna completely exclude the idea of plugging in your Kindle via USB cable, especially if you're one of those advanced digital bookworms who are using third-party software to keep track of all your books, then yes, using a USB cable to manage all your books will definitely work. But if you're like most most people, like myself for example, who just buy all your books through the Kindle store and don't actually manage the files behind them, then this method is probably better. The method that I'm talking about is the new Send to Kindle website. This website makes things so much easier when it comes to sending personal documents over to your Kindle, like EPUBs, Word documents, and PDFs. Let me actually share with you a quick story of how I used the Send to Kindle website just very recently in a real world example. I just finished writing and publishing my new book titled 22 Tiny Lessons That Changed My Life in 2022. And before I published it, I needed a way to have some volunteers help proofread the book and check for formatting issues. Now, as a quick side note, I actually have the book right here. It is out and published right now. You can buy it for your Kindle or a paperback copy as well, either one. Link for the book down below. But back to the story, what I'm talking about is for the small group of volunteers who were willing to help me with proofreading the book, I wanted to send them a quick way of having the EPUB file sent to their Kindle. And because of this new sent to Kindle website, it was just so much easier to make that happen. Previously, the only way to get an EPUB file on your Kindle would be through the send to Kindle feature via email and setting that up was always very annoying because you have to go into the settings, add your email as a preferred and approved email address, as well as making sure you have the correct email address for the Kindle device that you wanna send files to. It was quite a lengthy process. It did work, but it required several steps and it just was not worth explaining all those steps to people who wanted to help me out. But with this new Send to Kindle feature on the website, it's just so easy. You go to the website, you log in with your Amazon account and you could drag and drop files directly onto the website. The best part about this is this file that you're dragging and dropping through the website will appear on all of your Kindle devices. So if you have multiple Kindles, which I do because I like to review Kindles, it makes it so much easier to drag and drop a file one time and have the option to download it on any Kindle that you have. The Send to Kindle website could be accessed on any web browser, which is also a very nice perk. There's no special app required or anything like that. You also have a larger file size limit compared to before. Before you only had 25 megabytes, but now you can upload up to 200 megabytes, which is quite a big increase for those larger documents. And of course, it does support several different file types. Most notably, I think people will be using PDFs, Word docs, as well as 
the EPUB files that we keep talking about. It works like magic. I don't know why they haven't made this up until now. It just makes it so much easier to send things to your Kindle. Now the best part about this website is that it'll convert whatever file you put into the website into an Amazon ebook format. So like I said before, you can drag and drop EPUBs and those will look like a regular Amazon book on your Kindle, nicely formatted. You can adjust the font size and all of that cool stuff. But also, if you have a PDF file, I tried this with my manuscript of the book I just published, it works really well. You can just drag and drop the PDF and it'll also format it as an Amazon book file. So it's nicely formatted, the font sizing looks really great, the margins look the way you want them. It just works like magic. Now this does not mean that it works really well every single time. It all depends on the document that you're sending over. For example, one of the manuscript files that I sent over onto my Kindle for my book had some headers and footers in it and the formatting did not look very good on all the pages that had the header and footer on it. So your mileage may vary, but all things considered, this is a very big upgrade compared to the method that you had to follow before with having to use the email service or dragging and dropping files through a USB cable. Now, just as a reminder, there is actually a few other ways outside of this website where you can send personal documents to your Kindle. That email method is one of them, but there's also things like the Google Chrome extension. There's even a desktop application that you can download. If you're a power user, that might be something that's useful for you. I have a whole video that talks about these other techniques in great detail. Link for that on the screen right now. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time.